Ladies and gentlemen, can we start the session when you're ready? Thank you. I know you've been on holidays, but it's back to school, I'm afraid. Welcome to the new term at Green Mondays. I'm David Butter, representing Green Mondays, and it's uh, great that you've all, uh, you've all come this evening. A special thank you to our sponsors, uh, who, without whom we absolutely could not put on these events. Uh, we were pleased to welcome a new sponsor last month, uh, ERM, and today delighted to welcome a, a, another sponsor, Context, uh, who are experts in the area of social environmental communication uh, with offices in uh, London, New York and LA. So welcome Context and thank you very much for supporting us. Tonight's theme is a very large, ambitious one, a big theme, leadership in the 21st century. It's such a big theme, I don't know if you know how many books there are on Amazon uh, on leadership. How about 63,000? Uh, I don't suggest, we haven't got time to read them all. I, I had a go at it. If you start with A, you come to Attila the Hun's Secrets for Leadership, How to Discipline Your Workforce. Uh, I don't think that's where we're going to be going tonight. In fact, our hypothesis is rather different. Our hypothesis is that Attila the Hun would not be very successful in the 21st century. That indeed, in a world of scarce resources, and materials, there is one resource that is more important than ever, and that is the human resource, and the human resource of leadership. We talked a couple of Green Mondays ago about ingenuity as a human resource, and tonight, leadership is, the world is crying out for leadership, organizations are crying out for leadership, and it's our hypothesis not only that it's a big need, but that the people in this room may have the right stuff, the right materials to be successful leaders in the 21st century. Because we're going to ask some questions tonight. Questions like, can you be a successful leader in the 21st century if you, uh, if you don't really understand the implications of the social agenda of constrained resources? Can you be a leader in the 21st century if you have financial awareness but you don't have social awareness. Can you be a leader in the 21st century if you've got a great left brain, that's this way, great financial analysis skills, but you don't have collaboration, creative right brain skills very strongly? If you can't see multiple perspectives uh, and if you habitually put profit before planet? Many questions like this we're going to be addressing um, with, with, with our, with our um, panel and, and together as a group this afternoon. How to be a 21st century leader how many of us have the potential to do what it takes? Well, I'm very proud to introduce our panel tonight, who are four leaders who have demonstrated the right stuff, the, what it takes, and who are going to share with us their leadership experiences on what it takes, what some of the skills, learning, and experiences, coming at it from some quite different perspectives, which is important. Uh, our first speaker is going to be, uh, on the left here, uh, Mick Bremens who's chair chairman of Ecover, I'm supposed to pronounce it, or E-Cover, as some of the Brits call it. He's demonstrated extraordinary leadership in building a business against some major competitors in the consumer goods area, uh, providing environmentally sensitive products uh, and building an over $100 million uh, business. So we're going to hear from him on how he's done that. Then we're going to move to Paul Abberley. Paul is uh, chairman of Aviva Investments, he, he, he responsible for over uh, 200 million uh, pounds of funds and he's going to talk about leadership or rather lack of leadership uh, lack of leadership in the in the political in the in the business area uh, and, and lack of leadership in, in in the problems of integrity and morality and he's going to pose quite a challenge uh, to all of us here tonight uh, he's going to be followed by Sally Uren uh, vice uh, CEO of of the forum for the future who's perhaps going to give us some potential answers. Uh, she's been uh, on a beach in Bali recently thinking up some interesting, interesting solutions, she tells me. So uh, she's going to look again at leadership across the organization. Everybody can be a leader. And, uh, and finally, um, Syed Asmatala, Asmat here on my, my right, uh, who's going to provide more the cerebral piece to the, to the evening, uh, which is, uh, he's an expert in cognitive thinking, different parts of the brain. 
and how uh, we should be using our brains differently, how to understand our brains differently uh, in six minutes uh, to, to, deliver, to deliver different skills and behaviours and new leadership. So it's quite, quite an exciting um, time, but perhaps um, before I just pass over to say that hopefully even more exciting is going to be the conversation that we have together. I hope we're going to have a, a, a really engaged conversation with, with the panel members. Uh, you can communicate on, on Twitter, uh, hashtag GMLead, L-E-A-D, uh, and, and, uh, and email, uh, of course, old-fashioned hand-raising. We'll have microphones. And that will go until 7.30, uh, when uh, Jim Woods will do a, a summary of, 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 of the conversation. He's the one that couldn't write his script in advance. And then we will break into uh, 20 tables to, to, to really dig deep in various facets of this, as we always do, ending with an 8.15 networking, drinking, conversation, uh, close. So pretty exciting evening. I won't babble on anymore. Let's get straight into uh, the first speaker and first into bat, a Belgian cricketer, Mick Remens. Thank you. Welcome, Mick. <laughs>